everybody, it's Taco Tuesday, and I am excited because I am trying a new recipe. I am not typically one that um, eats sweet stuff, unless it's in front of me, and then if it's in front of me, then I have to eat it. Um, but this evening, I am making a cake. Now, parents are here visiting from Westlaco, Texas, and they have a major sweet tooth. So, I thought that this would be a perfect recipe to make since they are here visiting us. Um, so, I have on, uh, you like my little sweet pampered chef hat? <laughs> hey, Lori! Woohoo! My, my, Girlfriend Lori is here in the house. Thank you, doll. I'm glad you're here. I'm making a trace leche cake. Do you, oh, this is, I, I know, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm having poor internet connection. So please forgive me. Hope that it, we can bear through this and it'll all be okay. So this evening I am making a really great recipe, it's a pampered chef recipe, of course, <laughs> called Coconut Trace Leche's Cake. Have, so does anybody know what Trace Leche means? Coconut Trace Leche Cake. Mmm, I love coconut. I uh, often drink coconut water too. Have you ever tried coconut water? It's delicious, and it's good for you. I also, um, instead of buying the regular Pam spray, I like using um, the coconut oil uh, spray and frying in coconut oil, supposedly, it's better for you. So, coconut trace leche cake. This is what, y'all just tell me, don't that look good? Mmm. I love me some coconut. This comes out of this uh, wonderful little cookbook. It's only $2 for this little Pampered Chef cookbook, and I love it. It's called Season's Best. Make a lot of great recipes out of it. Oh, here's another one that was a huge hit with my friends. Chicken and Waffles Breakfast. Oh, yeah, baby. I was a star that morning for those friends. <laughs> so, I highly recommend this little cookbook. So, one, one of the things that I love about this recipe is that it is made entirely in the microwave. That means that you can have a fabulous tasting cake without heating up your oven. Hey, Tim Kreiner. We're making coconut trace leche cake. Do you know what that means? Trace leche cake. <laughs> Does anybody speak Spanish? Anybody take Spanish in high school? I did. Si. <laughs> si. Cuatro años. And I can't hardly remember any of it, unfortunately. Oh well, but I do know what tres leche means, and that means um, three milks. It's a three, it's a coconut three milk cake, and that's what we're having this evening. So um, the cake translates to three milk cake. We lighten it up with Greek yogurt and light coconut milk in place of evaporated milk and heavy cream. It's a sweet ending to your Mexican fiesta. Woohoo! <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday! <laughs> okay, let's get busy. Let's fix some coconut cake. All right, so let me show you what I've done already. Dang, God, and I forgot again to put on my microphone and I even pulled it out. Let me see if this is possible to do this quickly. Y'all bear with me. <laughs> y'all bear with me. 
And where's the hole? All right, right there. Oh, oh. <laughs> Can y'all hear me okay? Please say yes. <laughs> Please tell me you can hear me okay. All right, here we go. Hey, Laura Breeden. I'm making some trace leche cake. Coconut trace leche cake. <laughs> and it's going to be good. So I have this uh, new clay stone pot technology. It's from Pepper and Chef, and it's called the uh, Rock Crock Dutch Oven. And we are going to bake a cake in this rock crock Dutch oven. Um, I've done a little bit of uh, prep work already. And what I've done is, in the same pot, I have um, toasted the coconut. Can you, oh, can you hear that? It's all nice and crunchy. It smells, it smells divine. <laughs> so I already did that in the Rock Crock Dutch oven. And you do it, I did mine to get it a little toasty, four to five minutes, four or five minutes. Uh, and then you stir it uh, in the microwave after each one minute interval. Chicken stir fry in the Patterson's house tonight. Ah, oh, Randy, man. He was such a good buddy in high school. Yay! Hey, Cam doll! Glad you're here, doll! <laughs> so, I've already toasted the coconut in this rock crock Dutch oven. So, here is what we're going to do next. Let's make sure that you can see everything. So, I have already done the uh, coconut as I had said. So in the classic batter bowl, does anybody have this thing? This, I, I mean, I used to see all these Pampered Chef people have this and I never had it. And now I'm so glad that I do. This thing is awesome. I love it. So we're going to combine the cake mix. Or I guess I should tell you what's in, what are the ingredients to make this cake. It's two cups of sweetened flaked coconut. One package of white cake mix. We have a cup of water, three quarter cups of 2% plain low fat yogurt. And let's see what else. Three eggs, a can of sweetened condensed low-fat milk. We also have a can. Hey, Poppy! <laughs> we also have a can of leche de coco. Leche de coco. That means coconut milk in English. <laughs> so since I've already toasted the coconut, we are going to... Um, there's only six steps, which is pretty daggone cool. Uh, so in the classic batter bowl, make sure that you can see it. Yep. In the classic batter bowl, we're going to combine the cake mix. That would be this. Here's the cake mix. The water, and that is, um, let's see, how much water did I say? Oh, one cup of water. Pour it right in there. Okay. The yogurt, which is three quarter cups of yogurt. Yogurt. This is Greek yogurt. That's a protein in Greek yogurt. Okay, we got the yogurt in there. <laughs> Um, let's see what else. The yogurt and the eggs. And it requires three eggs. So I'm going to just move this over here. Do a little egg action over here. <laughs> and the 
big batter bowl. Here we go. I fixed mom and dad hash browns and eggs this morning and Journey Angel. All out of, I did it in the brownie pan. I must admit, I didn't do it right. It still tasted good, but it, it didn't it, it didn't look as good. So I'm hoping that this is going to be good. It is, Miss Jackie. It is. Love this thing. We, this is the classic, which is, um, I call it the big one. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. And then uh, we have a smaller one, but this is our classic batter bowl. And when it's, I am coconuts. <laughs> I, Cuckoo cocoa. I know. Okay, so we're going to whisk this together. I got so aggravated right before the show because I thought I had moved my whisk. And I'm like, man, it's the cool whisk. I got to have the cool whisk for the show. And the other one I have is a piece of crap. And this one's nice. It's got a great handle on it. I love how the, um, it's, got the um the whisk wires perfectly i don't know it's perfectly it works perfect for me <laughs> hey hey peggy an old home interior gal right there we used to sell some home interior back in the day <laughs> i love that that was a good 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 business i liked it Won all kinds of diamonds and furs and trips and cruises. It was awesome. Um, but Paper Chef offers those too. Maybe one of these days I'll earn one of those. Okay. This is good for your upper body muscles. <laughs> oh my God. I am, Sharon. I am. I haven't. You, uh, another home interior gal. Hey, pa I am selling Pampered Chef. Can't you tell with, with my hat? <laughs> oh, well. It's crazy. Crazy. Coconuts, like she said. Carol said. Okay, so I have whisked this until smooth. And then you stir in one and a half cups of the toasted coconut. All right. <clears throat> Shoo! That's good. All right, one and a half cups of the coconut. All right. Look at these little cute little dogs. Love these little things. All right, one and a half cups. Hey, I I think I'll just do it this way. You do that right. That looks like one and a half cups, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, Sharon, I love when you do a party. Woohoo! Party, party, round 53. Okay, so I stirred it in. Mmm, oh my God. Toasted coconut tastes so good, doesn't it? Mmm, yum. Okay, putting this in here. Yum, yum. Okay. Mmm. Yum. I can't wait to try this. Mama's going to like it. Mama's got a major sweet tooth. And I'm so glad they're here visiting me from Texas. <laughs> okay. So, now we're going to pour the batter into the Dutch oven. And believe it or not, we are going to microwave it. <laughs> I always, I have to read the directions. Unfortunately, I'm, well, you know, I'm a new cook still, so I do have to read, read them over and over. Hey, sister. Glad you're on the show, girlfriend. I'm making a cake for mom and dad. <laughs> so, here's this Dutch oven. Uh, uh, shucks. Uh, it's a Dutch oven, 
and is this is our fancy hey Brian this is our fancy pampered chef pot um, you can put it on top of the oven in the broiler in the microwave it is pretty dang on cool amazing and when you want to have it I mean it's hot and I think I have a feeling that my air conditioning is not doing so good so when you want to have something nice to eat but you don't want to heat up your whole house the microwave certainly does come in handy this uh, rock crock Dutch oven also um, you can put a whole like four pound chicken in here put your taco seasonings on top put it in the microwave I'm I am serious with potatoes and your vegetables for 30 minutes and voila you have dinner ready in 30 minutes and your family thinks you're awesome i will save you a piece <laughs> okay let me show you this right all right you saw me pour the batter in there it says microwave covered on high for 12 to 14 minutes or until, until cake pulls away from the sides so that's what i'm gonna do and i um make sure that my microphone wires aren't all tangled up so that i don't jerk the phone off the tripod again that would just be crazy crazy okay here we go this goes in the microwave so that's what i'm gonna do with john and i have this new microwave from his dad's and he wanted it up here because it has a convection oven which no, neither one of us know how to work a, a convection oven unfortunately do any of you guys know how to work it okay i set the timer for 12 minutes this is 12 to 14 and usually I don't know when it is but well I seem to need more time when I cook it <laughs> I, I don't want the wires to fall in the cake for sure so I, I've done it for 12 minutes so we're gonna do the next step meanwhile combine milk in the small batter bowl I don't have a small batter bowl I would think, why can't I just use the same thing and, and save, oh, I've already dirtied the other dish. Oh, well. Meanwhile, combine milks in small batter bowl and stir well until blended. So the milks are, hey, Valerie. Fancy hostess. Hey, Jerry. I'm making a cake. I never, ever, ever make cakes. Ever. I, I, I think this is, this is probably the second cake I've ever made, to tell you the truth. I, I just don't make cakes. Do you guys make cakes? Are y'all cake lovers? Cakes. Mmm. I can tell you that um, Pampered Chef is coming out with some really cool baking stuff for the uh, uh, for the fall season and it's uh, a lot of baking stuff so I may be doing some more hilarious attempts at baking cakes <laughs> you make them all the time Valerie good for you I I don't know I, I I'm I'm especially if this is really good I, I'm gonna start um, ombre cakes like um, ombre hair nope you don't do cakes pass just good food okay <laughs> I get you Carol um, the new uh, well I don't know if it's new because I'm um, new to baking but ombre cakes ombre ombre cakes are the 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 rage <laughs> if if that's 
I don't know if that's even cool to say that anymore. <laughs> but anyways, so you have um, like four layers of cakes, right? Um, and so we have these new four pans coming out and you color them the same color but with different intensities and they are really good to um, those kind of cakes are fun if you want to do a reveal on um, somebody who's having a baby is it going to be pink or blue on the inside and you can have different shades of pink and different shades of blue it's really kind of cool and then we have a new decorating uh, icing thing with the different screw-ons <laughs> I y'all want to laugh I, I don't know if I'm, I'm I might not I'm pretty crazy but that that really does take some skill and stuff it is it is until the last of the month a 75 dollar purchase you can get those cutting mats that is yellow red and green red for meat yellow for chicken and and green for the vegetables hey who's mary joe <laughs> Y'all are so funny having fun at my party with each other. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, I'm going to combine the milks in the small batter bowl. One can of condensed milk. This is 14 ounces. This is 14 ounces. Um, I got the low-fat kind. Okay, can you see it? <laughs> Mary Jo, oh my God, I ain't seen you forever. I hope you are doing well, sugar. One can of condensed low-fat milk. That hurt. I mean, I really, since I'm not a baker, it's so interesting to learn and play with these new ingredients and <laughs> this is crazy it doesn't look like milk it looks like white syrup <laughs> that's what it looks like to me <laughs> it looks like white syrup oh my god I, uh, I know Mary Jo because she lives at the lake. She lived at the lake, and I helped to sell. And she was my neighbor right around the corner, and I helped her to sell her house. And we used to uh, work out together and do exercise class together. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I do make a mess in the kitchen. Okay. So that is the sweetened condensed milk. And then it calls for one can of light coconut milk. Now, I love coconut water. I buy it all the time. It's very, very hydrating. And um, I like the little coconut bits at the bottom. Yum. And this is really cool. I hardly ever buy um, coconut milk, though. And I do love that name brand, Goya. Mm. I don't, can you see it? <laughs> I know, Mary Jo, you're a mist in love, girl. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I love this creaminess of it. I love it. All right, so we are combining the milk. You know, it is tres leche, leche. <laughs> tres leche cake. That means three milks. Three milks. All right. And then stir until well blended. Mmm. I don't know. It's kind of. It it seems like the condensed part is trying to hang out on the bottom. Cindy, thank you for coming and joining the party again. It's. It's not Taco Tuesday unless you're here with me. <laughs> All right. I'm making a cake, Cindy. I think this is the only, the second cake I've ever made in my life. 
I do make some cookies at Christmas time. I think, I think, I'm gonna, I liked it when um, cupcakes were all the rage. Is anybody into making the cupcakes? Randy, you fixed your wife dinner. You're such a sweet fella. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Love Taco Tuesday with you too, sugar. All right. So, we are combining the milks. I'm waiting for the 12 minutes to end with the cake in the microwave. We have three minutes and 32 seconds. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, you gotta go. <laughs> well, Mary Jo, you're a sweetheart and people love you, so thanks for coming. Thanks for coming to the party. <laughs> um, so, while we're waiting on the microwave cake, what is your favorite kind of cake? Um, Johnny Angels is um, carrot cake. I... And I want to know what my favorite cake is because I rarely ever eat it. I'm hoping this is going to be my favorite, my new favorite cake. Um, what what is y'all? Would somebody say what is your favorite favorite um, cake to eat? Do and um, oh, I was talking about the, uh, oh German chocolate. Is that? Is German chocolate mean it's super rich? Or what's different between American chocolate and German chocolate, Peggy? Mmm, <laughs> mmm, caramel. I love that sweet, salty flavor of caramel. Mmm, <laughs> yum. We have some caramel sauce uh, in our pantry items with Pampered Chef. Um, so your favorite, favorite cake. What's the difference between American and German chocolate, Peggy? <laughs> I don't know. Um, favorite cake, favorite cake. Mmm. And, and do you like icing or do you like it just fresh and moist without the icing? Or do you, do you prefer the icing only? The new, I don't know if it's new because I'm new to baking. I think it's a new trend, a new trend now in um, icing these cakes. Um, and I can't wait to show you. And there are four little pans like this. Ugh. And, you know, of course, you have the look. It's called um, the crumb cake. It's like a crumb. It's not a thick icing on Ooh, caramel and pecan icing. Mmm. <laughs> that sounds really good. That sounds good, Peggy. <laughs> um, it's like a crumb siding, so it looks more rustic and organic and um, fancy in a um, relaxed kind of chill way, if that makes any sense at all. Um, so I'll be doing some uh, Facebook virtual parties. I don't know if you guys are uh, like that, and if you're not familiar with them, virtual Facebook parties is um, lasts about a week to ten days long, and I post. I'm your um, host along with the host who is um, has invited their friends. It's a Facebook group, and I post. It's like a home cooking show, but it is virtual. And, oh, there it is. Yay! Let me go check it. I'll be right back. Going to go check the cake. Please, please be good. That was 12 minutes. It says 12 to 14. Oh, it smells really good. All right. Ooh. I need my oven mitts. 
I need the little microwave grips, but I haven't got those yet. Although I, <laughs> um, <laughs> look at this. These things are so daggone cool. Um, for one reason, I love how they feel on the inside. And I'm, as you know, you can see I'm pretty messy in the kitchen. I'm not done too bad. Um, but these, when you like stick your fingers in the food, it's so easy to wipe these off. All right, let me go see what let me see what it looks like. Let me come, bring it over. It says 12 to 14 minutes or until it's separate. <laughs> oh yeah! makes me so excited yes 12 minutes 12 minutes let me show you let me see if I can show it to you it has separated from the sides this makes me so happy <laughs> a drum roll a drum roll I know okay look everybody here's the cake you can it's separated from the sides Okay, so here's what we're supposed to do next. Pierce the cake thoroughly, thoroughly, <laughs> with the um, horn and slice. Remember, Jeff? Usually, when do y'all use this for? Horn and onion and slice it, that kind of thing. This evidently is a very, very important part. Pierce the cake thoroughly. And that is because you want the milk, the leche, to go down in the cake. Oh my heavens, Betsy! This is fun! Now, this is my kind of way of making a cake not too hot. Ain't this fun? Oh my heavens, I like it. Thoroughly, thoroughly. Ooh. It's gonna be good. This might be my favorite cake. Woohoo! Okay. I've pierced it pretty good. Hope I'm not tearing it up too much. But I really want this milk. The coconut leche <laughs> to go down into the cake. All right. Let me whisk it up with my pampered chef whisk. All right. Goody, goody. I think it's good. All right. Carefully pour a mixture over top of warm cake and let stand uncovered for five minutes. Oh, my heavens. Ooh. Is it piercing? Is it going down? Mm. <laughs> I hope so. Looks kind of full. Um, oh, it is absorbing me again. It is absorbing it. I was about to freak out a little bit. <laughs> you know, I'm a food blogger too. And I see these recipes that I want to try. And I look at the pictures. And I'm like, oh my God, that looks amazing. I cannot wait to fix it. So all of a sudden, I'm freaking out looking at this because it doesn't look like the picture. <laughs> oh, well. And I don't know, typically as a home cook, well, I don't want to say that all the time, but it sure seems that, um, thank you, Carol. It is a very interesting recipe. That's why I was attracted to it also. I'm hoping... It does show, okay, let me show you. Oh, let me put on my 
oven mitt. <laughs> Put on my oven mitts for you. Okay. So it does look a little soupy. See it? See it? All right. But as I find it interesting, it bubbled up a little bit in the middle. Maybe you can't tell it from here. But you can see that if I look really close, there is some liquid at the bottom of this. So it is a liquidy kind of cake. <laughs> ah, it's working. It's why it's five minutes. Oh, Peggy, thank you for helping me. That's, that's the hard part is the waiting because I'm live. <laughs> and I didn't bake a whole separate cake to pop out of the oven like um, all the fancy chefs do on TV. And like, oh, well, here, here it is. It's, here's another one. <laughs> hey, Pam Watley. Hey, I'm so glad Elena came too. So glad you're here, Pam. Patience, girlfriend, she says. Patience, girlfriend. Just before serving, top with remaining toasted coconut and garnish each serving with berries and whipped cream, if desired. <laughs> if desired. Yes, I desire. I desire whipped cream and berries. We do have a new um, whipped cream maker coming out in um, Paper Chef this season. It is um, a beautiful uh, turquoise color and you can make your own whipped cream in three minutes. Boom, 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 boom. Get your own fancy whipped cream and you can top it your cake with that with some berries. Okay, five minutes. It hasn't been five minutes. I'm so glad Peggy's here to help me to try to be patient. <laughs> okay, so we asked, what was your favorite cake? Huh. I know what my favorite pie is. My favorite pie is cherry pie. And pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie too. Cherry pie. I love cherry pie. And um, sometimes my birthday falls on Thanksgiving. And so I am a humongous fan of pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving. So you guys tell me what your favorite cake was. What's your favorite pie? You have a favorite pie? <laughs> Oh, my certified chili judge name tag fell off my chef's jacket. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks pretty creamy still. <laughs> uh, so maybe you would love cherries in, in the snow cake. Peach and cherry is your favorite. Tracy, I'm glad you're here, doll. I'm making coconut trace leche cake in the microwave. And it looks pretty soupy. Uh, I don't know what a snow cake is, Peggy. Uh, a snow cake? This kind of like, looks like a snow cake. <laughs> I just, I don't know why that, uh, this came to my mind, but I remember growing up as a kid. It used to snow a lot more when I was a kid. Hey, Tommy! <laughs> I remember growing up as a kid when it snowed, we would go out and scoop up the snow from outside and pour some vanilla over it and some sugar and eat it like it was a snow cone. <laughs> oh my God, that was good. It was brought, brought back so many yummy delicious memories so put the rest of the coconut on it and that should help it 
Thank you, Carol. You know how to cook, don't you, girl? It, 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 I made a mess. I did, I made another mess again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look, I, before I made the cake, I put coconut, sweet coconut, in here, in the Dutch oven, and I microwaved it for four minutes, and I stirred it at each interval so it's really nice and crispy. All right, let's do that. If only, I just wonder how many cakes did they have to make for it to look this daggone good in a pet shop? <laughs> Cause mine doesn't look like that. But Carol is right. It is absorbing the milk a little more. I wonder how thick it is. It looks kind of thick, but I know it's supposed to be milky because it shows the milk at the bottom. So, hey, I think I'm going to cut a piece of it and we're going to see how it is. <laughs> Please be good, please be good, please be good. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. It's got a lot of milk. And to some pe. Sean. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Peggy. I'm one of those crazy people. It's like when I want to entertain people and have people come over and find a recipe I've never tried before, of course, and then hope for the best <laughs> that I'm serving my guest it. <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy. Something's never changed. <laughs> I don't get, I know, I know. I, that's for sure, Peggy. <laughs> that's for sure. Thank you, Cindy. These tongs are really cool, aren't they? Little bamboo tongs. So fancy. <laughs> oh, my heavens. Mm, I don't know. I'm a little scared for y'all to see it. <sighs> Here's what it looks like with the coconut. <laughs> oh, please be good, please be good. It's nice and warm. Mm. Who doesn't love it? It's good. <laughs> oh my God. It's really good. Mm. I'm glad I didn't eat a whole big dinner because now I got me a big piece of cake. Look, guys. Look. Mmm. Okay. I can see that the milk has been piercing it all the way through. Now it's looking pretty good. Hey, Shirley T. I'm making like the second cake I've ever made in my life. <laughs> And it's coconut cake. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Thank you, Peggy, for your support and helping me to be patient to wait that five minutes. Okay, here's the first bite. Let's see. Oh, my God. Mmm. 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 Y'all got to have this. Mmm. <laughs> Thank goodness, Tracy. It doesn't have to look like the peck shark. Oh my heavens, y'all. If you like coconut, you're going to really like this. It's really, really, really good. Oh my heavens. Mmm. 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 Made in the microwave. Oh, and they're short time together. 
<laughs> you guys, thank you for being a part of my fun Taco Tuesdays. <laughs> you make it so much more fun. <laughs> Cindy, you really need to make it. You can go to um, pamperchef.com. Tray, coconut tray, leche cake. Oh, you need a, a, a good microwave pot. Mm. Yeah, baby. Tracy, you're right. I will, on my blog tomorrow, funchillycook.com. Hey, Joanne. Miss you, girl. Look, I made my second cake ever. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. Mmm. Mm mm. -mm. Turned out so good. I, I can't even believe I cut a big piece like this, and so now I'm going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> On my blog tomorrow, funchillycook.com, I'm going to upload this uh, recipe, and I will share with you all the paper chip tools. I will tell you that this is the Magic Pot. It's $139. Uh, the Rock Crock Dutch Oven. But as a host, you can get it for 50% off. Just saying. Virtual Facebook parties are the way to go. So much fun. <laughs> so, um, that's it for tonight. That's it. Oh, I know it's raining in Florida. You better get back here safe. And I mean it, Joanne. Love you guys. It's been a blast. I'm so appreciative for your comments and your love and I like when you meet each other online that you haven't seen each other in a while. You are a true blessing to me. And, um, oh, next week I'm on vacation. No Taco Tuesday next week. Um, so, <clears throat> but I'll be back the following after that Tuesday. And um, be sure to check on the blog tomorrow, funchillycook.com, and I'll have this recipe. And ladies, this is so good. And the color white makes it feel like it's lighter. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. I love you too, honey. Love to you too, and your wifey, Tommy. Thanks, guys. Man, um, share this video with your friends, and I'd appreciate that. And until next time, peace, love, and hot stuff, baby. Happy Taco Tuesday, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. <laughs>